the tarot. This is going to be a love forecast for the sign of Pisces for the month of September 2016. Pisces, this is your love reading. This is for my Pisces suns, moons, and risings, and those on the cusp of Pisces. Spirit, what are the love messages and energies that you have for Pisces for the month of September 2016? What can my Pisces expect? in terms of their love lives. What are the messages and energies that you have for Pisces? This is a general love reading and will not resonate with everyone. For the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, I always recommend coming and getting a private reading with me or your favorite trusted tarot reader. Spirit, once again, what are the love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Pisces? Pisces suns, Pisces moons, and Pisces risings. Gonna zoom in there a little bit. All right, let's take a look at your cards. Lovers reversed, crossed by, ten of pentacles reversed. What comes below you is the eight of swords. What comes above you is the hermit. In the recent past, you have the ace of swords. In the near future, you have the four of pentacles in reverse. In the position of how you see yourself, you have the High Priest. In your environment, this is also how your significant other may be viewing you or dealing with you. They have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Your hopes and fears are the Sun in reverse. Your outcome for the month of September is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces, let's talk about your cards. In the center, as your significator, you walk into September with the lovers in reverse. This can indicate an actual breakup with a soulmate or a separation from your lover. Um, there are serious irreconcilable issues with a, a very close partnership, within a very close partnership. Um, for some of you, it can indicate... Uh, a divorce or a breakup. Um, for those of you who are single, we could be looking at a situation where there is a karmic split happening in your life from a very significant in a very significant relationship. Um, it also indicates, like with regards to making a choice, you may be feeling like you made a bad decision or. Your head and your heart are not aligned on a decision, and so you're sort of struggling uh, with making a very important decision in your life in terms of which direction to go. What crosses you is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, which represents long-term security. I really feel like I'm reading for a specific group of people here. Either you... Um, just lost or broke up with a soulmate or a close partner. This uh, loss of security is what poses a challenge for you. Um, this could be a family member as well because we're dealing with the Ten of Pentacles which I often see as my long-term relationship card or family card. Um, I'm seeing the ending of a long-term relationship for you and or someone that you considered to give you the, that potential long-term security. Uh, what puts you here is the Eight of Swords. 
this feeling of being a victim, of being trapped, of not seeing a way out, having so many questions and not really perceiving any of the answers. Um, the problem with this card, or I should say the challenge with this card in your foundation, is that it does speak to sort of a victim martyr relationship whereby you perceive yourself as the victim, you perceive yourself as the one that's um, trapped or stuck here. And it is a mental construct. It is something that has to do with the way that you think about things, the way that you see things. Once you remove those negative thoughts and that particular way of viewing everything, then you can release yourself from this bad situation. But I will also say that at the root of the situation, because I'm seeing the Eight of Swords, it's because you felt trapped and stuck that you decided that you needed to break up or you needed to make a choice. Um, this choice would have reversed a karmic relationship. It would have broken the bonds of that. Um, it, it may also say that this is an unrequited love relationship where you don't feel like your love is being reciprocated. Uh, creating this challenge towards a loss of security in your life. In the recent past, I have the Ace of Swords, which speaks to, yes, it can represent an ending or going in a new direction. It does speak to truth, cutting to the heart of matters. Um, there's a singularity and a focus and uh, a specific energy behind the Ace of Swords that speaks to just uh, saying what you need to say and it can often represent sort of like the last phase in a video game where you defeat the enemy and sort of conquer that level and then win. Of course once that level is over the game is over so it's not to say that you can't restart the game but it's to say that there were some words spoken that were you consider to be the truth, which you consider to be good communication. And that communication has left you going in a new direction. And she's facing this head on. I mean, I really feel like you are being very direct. Um, you were outspoken and you were speaking the truth. So that's very good. Uh, in your thoughts and feelings, this is what you are trying to manifest. In your conscious level, you have the Hermit, which is also the sign of Virgo. And I'm just noticing that you have quite a few major arcana here. One, two, three, four. That's kind of a lot of major arcana, but never mind. Um, I want to talk about your thoughts and feelings with the Hermit. I see you thinking about withdrawing for a period of time to get your strength back, to get your thoughts in order. There's meditation going on here. There are deep questions being asked. Uh, there's a sense of going within for the answers and doing so kind of like a dark journey of the soul almost. So you may be spending some time alone just thinking your thoughts, thinking your, thinking about your feelings. Uh, the hermit isn't the most social creature. He really is just that. He is reclusive. He withdraws from the world in order to reclaim his authenticity, in order to reclaim his personal power, in order to think on what's been done and where he needs to go next. What's right for him? What are his values? What spiritual guidance is he receiving from his creator that's going to show him the new path that he needs to go on? So you're, you're contemplating things and you're doing things on your own and that's really where your headspace is at. That's really where you're at right now. Uh, one to two weeks going into the future, I have the Four of Pentacles reversed. There's a reluctance to give up someone or something. You are holding on to things and people and not wanting to let go of them. 
You may also be unable to just keep things to yourself and may open up suddenly about your feelings. Um, you could be spending more money than usual or there is definitely a letting go, a feeling of trying to let go of things and situations and people and feelings um, in whatever way that makes sense to you. But uh, that's what I'm seeing here. It's really the absence of holding on tightly. It's an opening up, especially with regards to finances, the material, the mundane world. Um, not so much intellectually or emotionally, but more in terms of just your generosity. You may also just be letting things go a little bit too quickly. Um by like sort of just discarding relationships or people or things, um, letting them kind of go through your fingers without really thinking about the consequences of doing that. So that's kind of the caution that I see with this card is just letting go of things or being a little bit too generous maybe uh, of your resources. In the position of how you see yourself, you have the high priest which represents conformity and tradition. How you see yourself, uh, you may be conforming to a, a religion or to a way of doing things. You're, you're conforming to what your societal beliefs tell you is the right thing to do. Perhaps following more of an overt organizational structure for example, when you take a career in a certain job sector, there are certain codes and standards that you have to kind of abide by. There may be certain standards, rules, and, and things that you feel that you have to follow um, that are more traditional. So you're following a more traditional path. This talks about being conventional, um, wanting traditional things like marriage, commitment, uh, you want to belong to a greater or something greater than yourself. This can extend to community organizations, um, government institutions, churches, and schools. Uh, now, in your environment, you have the Ace of Cups reversed. This is also how your significant other may be viewing or dealing with you. They see that you're emotionally drained right now and aren't able to kind of give of yourself. You may literally um, be blocking your emotions or feeling like your emotions cannot flow freely. So um, in terms of love life, in terms of love, I don't feel like they see there's a rejection of love there for them or there's a turning off of those emotions, okay? Your hopes and fears have to do with burning out, feeling burned out, depression. Um, perhaps you're afraid of not seeing things clearly or being clear in your communications, being clear in your intentions. Uh, I think you're afraid that you're not going to be happy. And that is a really big, I think, pressure on your in your life right now, is that you're just afraid that you're going to be depressed and that you won't be happy and that, you know, things won't go your way. Your outcome for the month of September is the Seven of Pentacles. So I see you taking a break to evaluate and see how far you've come. Will the seeds that you've planted this month start to flourish? Um, you've already reaped the rewards of, which, of the seeds that you've sown in the past. And now you can evaluate where, where things stand. Do you want, where do you need to be going? Uh, where do you need to change course? This is a time of evaluating. And actually, Mercury goes direct on the 22nd. And then after that, we have the Libra New Moon. Um in October and the, the sun goes into Libra and I can see this being a good time for you to 
uh, really evaluate the pros and cons of any situation you're in. I think you're going to find that you find. I think you're going to find more positives than negatives at the end of the day, and you're going to feel good about where you are. I'd like to now take a look at your oracle message. This is for my Pisces to help guide them on their highest spiritual path in love and in life. Message for my Pisces, Pisces suns, Pisces moons, Pisces risings, those on the cusp of Pisces. that I pulled for you is the winged wise ones angelic help miraculous aid and if I look at your reading here especially with the uh, lovers card and the traditional rider weight there are angels there's an angel I think it's Archangel Michael overseeing the relationship, the couple there. Um, so let's read about the message here. It's card 34, which reduces to a seven. I'm trying to see if we have a seven here. Do we have any sevens? Oh yes, we end with the seven here. We end with the seven of pentacles. Okay. Always allies and never challengers, the winged wise ones represent the aid of all the angels. When you enter their realm, know that your sincere prayers will be answered according to the will of the divine. This also represents divine intervention and the potential of miracles to heal and transform as if by magic. Have faith, Pisces. Whatever your circumstances, heavenly beings are watching over you. The winged wise ones give you a glimpse of the future by offering messages whispered on the wind. These are translated within you as inspired thought, instantly unraveling the past and revealing the present. Be aware of the higher consciousness in you. This is a good time to observe your thoughts through meditation. Who is observing those thoughts? That self is kin to the winged wise ones who have come to help you soar. And uh, if you feel that no one is listening to your prayers, I feel that many of you are asking for help at this time. You may be praying to a higher source. And I think this card is a confirmation that your prayers will be answered and that all will be right for you as if by miracle and divine timing. So leave your worries at the door. Um, ask for help from the angels. They're here to help you and they are listening to you. So send them your prayers. Send them your intentions and your messages and they will carry them onwards for you. They will carry their, your messages for you and they will listen to you and answer. And you will be surprised at how quickly they answer to your call. Like this reading, please give it a thumbs up as that ensures that I get your readings out first next month. And do leave me a comment. I read all my comments and feedback. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I'll see you guys soon for the mid-month readings. Take care. Bye-bye.